Hello my glories, welcome back to another video. So as you can tell, there is something very different and that is that I am in Minecraft right now, which is because I built a bedroom which is connected to a bathroom and closet. I decided why not recreate it in Bloxburg. So without further ado, I am going to show you what the bedroom looks like. As you can see, it gives me a very cozy apartment vibe if that makes sense. I think it's because of the brick but to be honest, I like that a lot. All the walls are white except that one because I thought the bricks would be nice as like a little accent wall so that the bedroom is not too blank. Here we have a little desk area and it literally does not have a chair, but we're gonna ignore that. Anyway, here we have a little seating area. It's a little sofa and I thought the blue color would be nice to give a pop of color to the bedroom. And over here is the bed area. We have a lot of plants, a shelf up there, and we just have like a little bedside table with a painting. And also, as you can see, I added carpet and they're like different colors just for that pop of color again, as I said. And yeah, that is pretty much it for the bed area. Now I'm going to show you the bathroom, which is connected through this door right here. So let's go ahead and go in. So once you walk in, you get a view of the counters and the sink. And these windows are supposed to be like a mirror. I hope it looks like that somewhat. It probably doesn't, but I tried my best. <laughs> to match this blue theme that we have in here, I added these little cute blue flowers. We just have these lights right here, this window up there. It's like a little open ceiling concept. I forgot what it's called, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And then here we have like a little plant growing all the way over here. I know that's a little bit weird to think about, but I thought it looked really cute, so I did that. As you can see, this is like a little wall that separates the rest of the bathroom, and that is because there is a bathtub in here. Just like the bedroom, we have all the walls white except one wall. Actually, it's still white, but it has bricks, and also there are bricks right here, which I guess you could call this like a pillar if you were talking about Bloxburg terms, but I'm pretty sure this is like... Yeah, this is a brick wall. So yeah, that's what's going on here. And then we have this really interesting looking toilet. <laughs> um, so I did not have a toilet for this. So I literally just put a sofa <laughs> and then here's like the toilet paper. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Moving on from that interesting toilet idea, we have these windows as well. So yeah, that's pretty much the bathroom. I like it a lot. We're gonna go on to the closet. Here is the closet in this corner, and as you can see, it is very basic, but there are just two armor stands. There is a ceiling, obviously, <laughs> with some windows as well. So yeah, that is what's happening in the closet. It's probably gonna be a lot more detailed in Bloxburg, but of course I still want to make it look pretty accurate to how it looks like in Minecraft. That's pretty much it for what this looks like in Minecraft. So I think it is time to finally start building in Bloxburg. Now I am in Bloxburg and I'm going to try to recreate this. I'm doing this according to the blocks inside. I am taking these squares individually and I am comparing them to Minecraft blocks and like measuring it out from that way if that makes sense. So here is the bedroom area. Well, I think this is pretty accurate and by the way, just letting you guys know like the exterior does not really matter because it's all about the interior design. I'm gonna add the flooring. I compared the flooring to linen, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so this is what it looks like so far, and I think it is pretty accurate. So now I'm going to add a door. I think it was a double door, so I'm going to be doing that. I think this is close enough, so I'm going to place that and color it. I feel like it was this color. That looks interesting in Bloxburg. For now, I'm going to move on, but we may come back to this door. I think this matches the doors the most. 
this is pretty accurate. So now that I got that down, I know that there's like a little plant here. Obviously, we do not have like square plants in Bloxburg. So, oh, actually, good idea. I can get a planter. I'm also trying to match the theme that I had in Minecraft, so this is a little bit challenging. I feel like this looked a lot like the one in Minecraft. That's good. So we had this cute little rug in front of the closet door, and I think this one matches it the best. This is so interesting to me. We had these lights right here on the wall. To the extent of this being in Bloxburg, this is pretty accurate so far. This is so interesting because there's like a big space between these doors and in Minecraft, the plant is literally like between them. It's so weird. There was a shelf right above the bed and it was white. Also, there were those lights again right here. I know this is a little weird, but I'm using snowflakes to replicate the vines, which I think is working. And I'm just gonna color the leaves like the rest of the things that are colored. Although I think they're a little more brighter than- Oh, might as well change the wall since I made it green. Maybe this will have to do. It looks really weird. Also, there was another carpet that looked like that right there. And we might as well color the bed. Perfect, that is what it looked like. We had a little table that was like a coffee table, kind of like this. Right next to it was a plant on the ground. Colored that the same. That, I guess that's what it looked like. This is going very interesting. <laughs> this is definitely how I wanted it to turn out. <laughs> Okay, okay, it's not done. It's it's not done, it's okay. <laughs> it's kind of bad, it's kind of bad. So I just checked and there are windows between this sofa. The walls in Bloxburg are like shorter than in Minecraft. Well, I could have changed the height of the walls in Minecraft, but I didn't. I think that matches. I mean, obviously they're definitely a lot wider than the ones in Minecraft. I think that's a lot better. Yeah, that matches Minecraft a lot more. Oh, I just deleted the whole wall. <laughs> okay, what sucks about Minecraft when you're building is that you can't undo, but you can undo in Bloxburg. I was actually so excited when I joined Bloxburg because I remember I was like, this is so much like The Sims. And I literally loved The Sims so much. I still do, but I don't play it. Like I haven't played it in a long time. Maybe I'll play it again sometime because it is fun. This isn't too bad, but like, it just doesn't look right. <laughs> like. You walk in, and there's so much space. Should I change it? Should I make it better? I will check back with you guys in a second once I'm done adding all the paintings and everything like that. I might add like a little more lighting, but yeah. I can't wait to see you guys in literally a second. And finally, what you have all been waiting for, here is the final look of the bedroom in Bloxburg. It's not how I'd usually decorate a house, however, it's still really good for transforming it from Minecraft. Here is the closet as well. Obviously, it is very different from what it looks like in Minecraft, but I tried my best. That's pretty much it. Since I have described pretty much everything overall, I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side comparison on how I did. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much and I hope you're having a great day or night. Goodbye everybody, God bless you.